So it looks like we might have seen Jimmy Garoppolo play his final game as a 49er. In his press conference, he was, you know, saying thank you to the fans, saying thank you to everyone. And those kind of seemed like goodbye thank yous to me. I mean, you can go watch the press conference and try to, you know, read his tone yourself. But the vibe to me seemed like goodbye thank yous. And, you know, it does make sense, though, for the 49ers to trade Jimmy G this offseason. They obviously traded up to draft Trey Lance number three overall last draft. And I was honestly surprised that Trey Lance didn't get more playing time this season, especially because they did move up to get him. That's how much, you know, they loved Trey Lance and still do love Trey Lance. But, you know, they they were on a hot streak. The 49ers were, at, were, at a, were on a hot streak uh, at the end of the season. So I guess it did kind of, you know, just make sense to stick with Jimmy G. I thought they could have, you know, incorporated Trey Lance into the game plan more, even if it was kind of in like a Taysom Hill role. Um, in certain plays, because we know Trey Lance has a huge arm, so I don't know, you could have you could have tried to drop some creative plays there, some trick plays there with Trey Lance, but they didn't, which is fine, but um, it, it just makes sense. It makes sense that Trey Lance is going to be the starter next season. You draft a guy number three overall, you give him a full year to sit and learn, it makes sense, especially in the NFL today, that he's got to be the starter year two. So we do have a report from Matt Lombardo, uh, he's an NFL insider for Fansided, and he spoke to a current personnel director in the NFL, and that personnel director told him that the expectation in the NFL is that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Denver Broncos are the teams that are expected to, you know, make a, quote, strong push to trade for Garoppolo, end quote. So it's not surprising that those three teams are on this list because those are three teams uh, that need quarterbacks, the Buccaneers, as of uh, this week. But let's 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 go through these teams really quick. I'm probably gonna come out with like my top trade destinations for Jimmy Garoppolo video sometime in the future. But let's just talk about these three teams right now because these are the three teams that are being reported that are very you know interested in making that push for Jimmy Garoppolo. Personally, I think I could see Jimmy traded for at most a second round pick. I could see him maybe being traded for a third and a fourth round pick or maybe a third and a fifth instead of a third and a fourth, but I don't see someone trading a first round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. So let's start out with the Steelers here. They're obviously a team that needs a quarterback. Ben Roethlisberger retired. They are apparently rolling with Mason Rudolph as the starter for now, but Jimmy G is obviously an upgrade over Mason Rudolph in my opinion. I think they do need to upgrade that offensive line, though, if uh, you're the Steelers. you got to upgrade that offensive line if you really want to get the most out of Jimmy. So that's one thing I would say the Steelers do need to do if they do want to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. But listen, they have the pieces there. They have the defense there. Najee Harris, imagine how well he's going to play behind a somewhat good offensive line. He could be an outstanding running back with just a somewhat good offensive line. So the Steelers are definitely a team that could make a playoff run with Jimmy G at quarterback. Next, we got the Buccaneers. And I got to say, the Buccaneers are my favorite team on this list for both sides. I think this is a great match for both sides. It'd be really funny if Garoppolo was finally Brady's successor, but just not on the Patriots. Like, oh, it's like, oh, if you sold, if you told someone like a bunch of years ago when both Brady and Garoppolo were on the Patriots, that like, oh yeah, Garoppolo is going to be the starter after Brady. But on the Bucs, you'd be like, what? what? Excuse me? What? But yeah, that would be hysterical if Garoppolo just ended up being Brady's successor, but in Tampa Bay. I think this is a great fit for the Bucs because the Bucs, they aren't in rebuild mode yet. Like you're not in rebuild mode. You won the Super Bowl two, two years ago. I know, you know, their cap situation might be a little difficult with re-signing everyone again. They're not going to re be able to re return the same exact Super Bowl team, but they are still a team that is a playoff contender for next season in my opinion, especially because that division they're in is not that great. But Jimmy, you know, he has experience in the playoffs. Yes, he's not Tom Brady. Obviously, that goes without saying he's not Tom Brady. Like, I don't even have to say that. Like, Tom Brady's the goal. I don't have to say he's not Tom Brady. But he has playoff experience. He's been to the Super Bowl. Like, he has a lot of playoff experience, to be honest. Like, even, even, even this past year, NFC Championship game. Yeah, he didn't play outstanding in his interception, lost in the game. But, like, he has the experience to be there. I just, I just really like this fit because I, like I said, I don't think the Bucks 
are a team that's going to just like try to rebuild right now. I think they could still be a playoff contender. And I don't think you want to draft a quarterback if you're the Bucs. Like, I just don't think the move for them is to draft a quarterback right now. I think Jimmy G is like a great fit for this team. I think this team is a great fit for Jimmy G. Like, I think both parties would be really happy if Jimmy G does end up on the Buccaneers. And then the final team we got is the Broncos. And I don't, I don't, I don't like this one. I don't like this one for Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm, I'm sure Broncos fans aren't thrilled to be hearing the rumors that, oh, Aaron Rodgers might be going to Denver than to hearing the rumors of, oh, Jimmy Garoppolo might be going to Denver. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo is not Aaron Rodgers. It's just, the Broncos have been looking for that franchise quarterback for so long. They've been looking for that guy. Like, who's the guy? Like, who's going to be this Broncos franchise guy for the long run? Like, obviously, they had Payton, but when they won the Super Bowl, it was Payton's last season. Like, Payton was not prime Payton when he was on... uh the Broncos, but the Broncos have just been looking for that guy, and Jimmy G isn't going to be like your franchise guy. He's a starting quarterback. He's a, at at minimum, an average starting quarterback in the NFL, right? I think he's better than Drew Locke and, and Teddy Bridgewater, but how much better is he than those guys? I just feel like if the Broncos make this trade, they're just like continuing to go in that cycle of, you know, not being able to find that that franchise guy. If you're the Broncos... Make that trade for Russ. Make that trade for Rodgers, even though Rodgers is older. I mean, Russ is older too, but Russ is younger than Rodgers. Still, you can win a Super Bowl with those guys, with the roster you have now. I mean, yeah, they could possibly win a Super Bowl with Jimmy G with the roster they have now. I mean, uh, maybe not. I don't know. That that roster isn't as good as the 49ers roster. But I just I just don't like this move for the Broncos. If you do this, if you're the Broncos, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. And and I would even say if you're the Broncos, if there's a quarterback that you love in this year's draft, that you love in this year's draft, go draft them instead of trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. Because then that guy might be your guy. You know what I'm saying? I know the Broncos have that roster minus the quarterback position where they could really be a playoff contender if they just get that quarterback in there. Like this team could be really, really good playoff contender. Really good. Um, But it's just going to be tough, especially in that division for Jimmy Garoppolo to like lead this team on a legit playoff run. So if I'm the Broncos, I, I don't want to do this trade. Like I said, Buccaneers would be my favorite team for him to go to, but I think the Steelers are also a good option. And Mike Tomlin is a really, really good coach. So I think Jimmy G like thrives under coaching. That is good. I think, I think he'll be uh, in a, in a better spot if he's under a good coach. So that is it for this video, guys. Let me know which of these three teams you think is most likely to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. If you want to hit the like button, that'd be awesome. And feel free to subscribe, guys. Peace.